Merry Christmas, mofos. What's happening? Zeramus555 here. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys all got some cool stuff. Uh, I personally don't really care about presents, but um, in fact, I haven't even opened mine yet. But that's because my family is at church and we're going to be doing it afterwards. Actually, I haven't even wrapped mine yet, so uh, I probably should get on to that or otherwise, uh, yeah, I might not be getting any presents myself. So, anyways, um, yeah, so uh, as you guys might have seen the video I did, uh, that picture I did for my girlfriend, she loved it, ended up doing, or ended up very, very well, and, uh, I was very pleased with, with how I, uh, how I did with it. Uh, she got me some cool stuff. We didn't really get anything big for each other. I'm really not, like I said, big on presents, and, you know, we have, we have other things we need to pay for, but she got me some cool stuff. She got me this cool elephant box, because she loves elephants, something to remind me remind me of her. Uh, unfortunately, it's not being on fit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm also going to be buying a 3DS and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for myself for my own Christmas present. Uh, I'm getting them both for $80. Uh, so I think that's a pretty awesome deal. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, today I'm just going to be doing a deck profile. Uh, it's my Christmas deck profile. Um, now, I have another announcement. I hope you guys won't be mad, but uh, as some of you may have known, you were probably trying, like, a, a couple of you did enter in my 500 subscriber contest. I did make 500 subscribers. Thank you to everyone. Um, it did take a bit, like, actually a lot longer than I was hoping it would. And because of that, I kind of lost track of who was in the lead. So I have no idea who actually won the contest. Um, I am very sorry. Uh, but I promise that I will do another contest much easier and that Treeborn Frog uh, will still be up for it. Um, so just because uh, I, I'm, I can't give that away, I want to do some shout outs really quick. Um, but before, oops, before I do that, uh, I'll just get to the deck profile. Um, unfortunately it's not in order, so I'll put it in order really quick. Uh, this is kind of a spontaneous video. Uh, anyways, guys, I also want to know what you got for Christmas. Uh, let me know down below. I'm sure some of you got Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff. Um, not the kind of thing I usually get for Christmas, and that's just because uh, I pretty much have every single card I want. Um, you know, I'm not really wanting anyone to buy me a tour guide for Christmas because that would just be retarded because a $150 piece of cardboard is kind of retarded. Or ridiculous, I should say. Um... On another topic, what do you guys think of Tour Bus from the Underworld? Uh, I think it's actually pretty decent. Uh, I can see it being a little broken, the fact that you can send Tour Guide back, um, the fact that you can send BLS back. I think a lot of people didn't consider that. You could use BLS, someone can dark hole it, send it back, and maybe it'll draw it next turning and you'll top deck that card. So um, I think it definitely has some potential. And the fact that it's just another level 3 Fiend for Tour Guide to grab is a little ridiculous. I don't know if people are going to run it. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to go for. I can't see people running three of it. I could see maybe like two or one. But uh, yeah, um, probably out of ten I'd give the card, I'd say maybe a seven. Uh, I think it's one of those cards that's got a cool effect, but it's, you know, it's something that I'm not sure if anyone's really going to um, break the already kind of standard mode of what the format's all about, and that's unfortunately Tour Guide Tengu Plants. Um, okay, so quick shout-outs I want to give. Um, you know, I'll have these all wherever here somewhere. Uh, first one I want to give on to the Sticky Gecko. He got me a couple uh, subscribers at the end there. Um, sorry to him. Uh, you you definitely wouldn't have won, um, but I do appreciate the subscribers you got me, so thank you very much. Make sure to check him out. Uh, another one, of course, is Team Delta Force. Um, he's got two axes on each side. He's probably my new YouTube partner, I say. Me and him are pretty tight. Um, unfortunately, I like to be do doing more videos with him, but I'm busy with work. But uh, once again, make sure to check him out. Uh, another guy, of course, is uh, he kind of got me started on this whole thing, is uh, Team Dark Monk. Um, I'll have a, uh, well, it's Team Dark Monk DJP, I think, but I'll have a uh, link to him as well. Um, awesome guy, and uh, yeah, he's he's got me quite a few subscribers as well, so um, thanks to him. Uh, so yeah, those are my, sh my shoutouts. So uh, without further ado, let me get to the deck here. Um, sorry this video is not very organized, guys. I kind of just woke up, but I wanted to do something for you because it's Christmas and nobody's home yet. So let me just quickly throw these together here. Um, another uh, question I have for you guys is the ban list. Uh, you know, it's coming out pretty quick here, surprisingly. 
So I want to know what you guys think is actually going to be on the ban list. Um, do you guys think that BLS is going to stay at one? Do you guys think it's going to get banned again? Uh, do you want it to get banned again? If you don't, I think that's kind of ridiculous, but let me know. Um, other than that, uh, yeah. Um, personally, I'm kind of hoping with the ban list that it does get banned again. I don't play B. I don't own one. I did own one, but I got rid of it pretty much right away just because I was like, oh, this card's stupid. I'm not going to play something that's kind of defining the whole format. I like, to, As you guys know, I like to play decks that take a little bit of skill. So it's just not my thing. Uh, anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to get the deck. If it's not in order, it's pretty pretty easy to kind of go through it all. Uh, so today's deck is Black Wings. I've had these these mofos in my uh, my binder for a while now. Uh, I love Black Wings. I still think they're a great deck. It's too bad that no one's really playing in this format because I think the Black Wing one in uh, the OCG where everyone's reading like the three tour guides and the BLS that one's really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, Black Wings, awesome. So uh, first monster, Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, he's the boss monster of the deck. Um, Really nothing more much to say there. He's actually very easy to get out uh, because of the... Uh, not values, I don't really run that many value targets. This is more like a Shura build. But uh, because of the um, Blizzard and whatnot, so... Also, if you guys have any opinions, let me know. Uh, there are a few cards in here. I'm not really sure if I should be running it or not. Um, three Shura, you gotta run three. He's your kind of destroy and search card. Love this guy. Um, three Bora, he's your special summon, and he's a piercer. Uh, he's, I'd say he's a lot better if you're running Sirocco. Um, because we know a lot of people setting a lot of cards this format. It's more just like summon tour guide go. So, I don't think he's really as good. I really just like him because he's not level four. Uh, he's got a decent attack. Like, he's not great. And his effect does come in handy, and you can always special summon him off the Shura and make Trish and all that fun stuff, so I think you still have to run 3 him. Plus, he gives you more targets for... Blizzard. 3 Blizzard. Uh, I think you have to run 3. Uh, I know some people say run 2 because it's dead draws, but yeah, you can always Lure of Darkness it or you know whatever. I think 3 you gotta run. Um, plus, it's a tuner, so I'm running Mind Control, so even if I don't have that monster in the graveyard first turn, um, I can always just you know, mind control your monster and synchro, so. Uh, next is one Sirocco. I don't really, like, I like Sirocco. I think he's a great card, but I always find he's just sitting in my hand doing nothing. And if he isn't, the opponent's, uh, is, he might be the only, like, the biggest monster play I got, but my opponent's probably already, or pro, pro, sorry, my opponent already probably has something too big for Sirocco to get over, so he's okay. He's not as great as I like him to be. I ran just one because I like him. Easy target for the value. Uh, he's nice with Whirlwind up. And he does get over um, Thunder King and whatnot, so it's handy. And one value is just one tar. I don't like two. I think you draw them too often, but um, one's perfect, uh, I was sure, because I do run some other tuners in here. Uh, one of those being Gale, obviously. Gale is a staple. It's one of the best cards in the deck. Special off Shura. You can search it off Whirlwind, special it. Uh, it's level 3, it's got a great effect, it's over a lot of big monsters. Excuse me, and the uh, other tuner is, uh, I'm running Mistral. Um, I, do, I, I haven't tried Jin out yet, I was going to try Jin the Rain Shadow, because I think he actually has a pretty decent effect, and he's good against like fairies and stuff. But um, I like this guy just because he's 800 de 1800 defense, and if I have Spirit Reaper on the field, I can uh, go Shura, um, attack, destroy, special this, and you can make Trish. Uh, otherwise, it's just an instant Bryonic as well with Shura. Or, yeah, with Shura, so I think that's always really really good as well. Plus, he's 1800 defense. I guess I always just special him um, in defense and then just leave him there and then have him as an Icarus target because they're really the only cards I can get over him is like Thunder King card troopers. So. Um, one, Zephyros. I think Zephyros is kind of a staple. Um, unfortunately, they don't have oppression anymore, so he's not as good as he was, but he's still a very good card, so I like another level 4 target, which is good. And last, Blackwing Clute. Gotta run it to your Honest in the deck. It's not as good as Honest. I think this card should probably go back up to 2 or something. Um, yeah. I'm hoping actually Blackwings get... Cause I, uh, this is just my opinion, guys. Um, but if you see in the OCG, and the OCG is really always kind of... Like, the ban list is always based off of that. Um, you can kind of see that... The deck, how they run it, is 3 Thunder King BLS. And sometimes they run Valor. 
But if BLS gets hit, then the Thunder Kings are kind of pointless. Um, even though Thunder King's a great card, I can even, like, some of you might disagree with me, like I said, but I could see Thunder King maybe getting hit this ban list, because it's just been too good for too long, in my opinion. A lot of people are running it either at 3 or 2 this format, and I think it's just it's just too good. It's been too good for too long. It's a 1900 beater. It's got an amazing effect, and you could tribute it off to negate monsters that can get over it. It's kind of busted. Um, so I can actually see... Konami giving something back to Black Wings, possibly another Whirlwind would be awesome. Um, and that's just because when you think about it in retrospect, uh, the deck really doesn't have any great targets for Whirlwind anymore. Like, you know, you only got you only have one Kalut, you only have one um, Gale. So it's like I mean, once you search those out, you really don't have a lot of great targets anymore. So I can kind of see it possibly coming back. We'll see. Um so next is one Spirit Reaper. Uh, I just like him for the stall, and I don't know how many games I've just summoned this one Reaper to stay on the field the whole game. I'm just like poke, 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 because you always have those Icarus attacks to get the monsters off the field, and this thing's just amazing. Uh, one Gore, sometimes he's dead in your hand, but I still think this format Gore is too good not to run. So that's 18 monsters, guys. Uh, moving on to the spells, they're pretty standard. I won't say too much about them. Let's quickly put them in order here. Sorry I didn't get this organized first. Spontaneous video. All right, so we got uh, three pot of duality. I've seen some people run two, but I think you gotta run three. That just makes the deck more consistent with only one whirlwind. Now you want to get to your whirlwind as fast as possible. You want to get to your dark arm as soon as possible. So three is really good. Um, next is my typical anti back row hate. Uh, two MST heavy storm. I actually might take out the heavy storm running in a trap. I really like heavy storm, but you already have the Icarus attack for kind of mass destruction, so I find that sometimes it's just in your hand dead, but I do still love Heavy Storm too much, I think, to take it out. We'll see. Uh, next is Allure of Darkness. This is just another draw engine card. Kind of speeds up the deck a little bit. Thins. Thins always good. Uh, mind Control. Like I said, I'm running one, two, not including value, one, two, five tuners. So this is actually very good, plus the fact that the deck's running a lot of level 4s and a lot of other levels, you have a lot of options to exceed as well. Um, so that's really good. Uh, and of course we got the Black Whirlwind, yeah it's a super rare, it's hot. Um, Whirlwind, there's really nothing more to say about it, it's Whirlwind. Hopefully it does get go back up to 2 or something. Uh, Book of Moon, staple. Monster Reborn, staple. And uh, Barocco Negro, staple. Okay guys, so that's the spells, and moving on lastly to the traps. This is pretty standard, so I'll put this in order really quick here. Uh, by the way, bottomlesses are warnings, I just have them in my Samurais because I'm way too lazy to switch them out, so... Okay, here we go. Uh, the trap line is a little smaller than I'd like to be, I'd like to, I like it to be a bit bigger, but I think Black Wings are still kind of a monster deck, so in the meantime I'm just running kind of a lower trap count. Uh, three Icarus attack is a staple. Two warnings. One judgment. Deep prison. Mirror force. Frontal tribute. And obviously the best card in the format, Trap Dash. So that's the deck, guys. 40 cards. Um, I'll have the deck list below if you don't want to have to watch this uh, overly overlong, overly long video. Um, yeah, so anyways, let me know what you guys think of the deck. But yeah, uh, anyways guys, Merry Christmas. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more videos. Hopefully. The only thing is I'll be starting school again in uh, January. And I'll probably be working full time as well. So I don't know. I'll try my best to get out more videos for you guys. It might not happen. But we'll see. Uh, so anyways guys, Zeramos555 signing out. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, sorry to all the people that got me to 500 subs that aren't getting anything other than the shout out. Once again, make sure to check them out. Um, and yeah, once again, Merry Christmas and hope you guys have a good day. Peace.